In early 2022, the watch world experienced a new product launch like never before. The new Swatch X Omega Moon Swatch. A new Swatch plastic watch made in the exact dimensions and shape of the original Omega Speedmaster Professional. Thousands of people lined up a day before the official release already in front of the stores to get one of those desirable watches. The opinion of the watch world was split in half. Some hated it, some loved it. Some saw it as hope for the industry. It could be the key to create many more future watch enthusiasts. Unfortunately, most of those people who lined up for the watch were resellers and the Moon's watch became a symbol for watch flipping. A few months later, I have one of these hype watches in front of me to give you the full review and unboxing experience. Of course, I couldn't get it from the local Swatch stores. After many attempts, there is no chance for me or any of my friends to get one over there. For now, you either do a big purchase at Omega and maybe some of the managers over there is happy to support you and will organize you a Moon Swatch. Of course, you have to pay for it. Or you can spend around a thousand dollars for this watch on the second hand market. Also our hopes to order this watch online were destroyed quickly as Swatch changed their strategy and doesn't want to distribute the watches online. Before we start a quick wristwatch check. I am wearing my Omega Speedmaster Professional Sapphire Sandwich today. A great watch at a great price point. You can get without any struggles from the boutiques. I love especially this new version on the nice bracelet. So the Moon's watch comes in this plastic box with a few prints on it. The box sleeves are matching the color of your watch. Inside we find a watch and a few booklets. The first one contains a quick overview of the different Moon's watch models and some data about the planets they represent. Besides this Moon's watch booklet, we have the warranty card and of course the user manual included. The packaging overall feels very cheap and below a G-Shock packaging for example. And here's the watch. The official retail price for these watches is 260 US dollars, but as said it is virtually impossible to get them from the Swatch store. Even after 10 attempts I had no chance to buy one and now decided it was a waste of time going there. So I got one from the second hand market where it trades now at around 1400 US dollars here in Dubai. The Moon Swatch is fully made of plastic or so called bioceramic, which anyway feels like plastic. The strap is a white velcro strap and on top of the watch we have a plastic crystal. The version I got is the Mission 2 Uranus that comes in this light blue or nowadays called Tiffany color. Due to the color I think this version is one of the most hyped ones. The watch is easy to operate like any other chronograph. With the top pushers you start and stop the big second hand and chronograph function. With the lower pusher you can reset the chronograph again into the start position. Via the crown you can set the time of the watch. Once you pulled out the crown the second hand stops and you can set the time. No screw down crown and unfortunately I can feel a ghost position. That means this movement would normally come with a date. But due to the design of the watch they just covered the date wheel and by that this is quite a disappointment for me and it somehow will always annoy me if I feel there should be a date but you just can't see it on the uh, dial of the watch.
Let's have a look at the watch dimensions. The diameter is 42 mm, the thickness of the watch is 13.3 mm and the lack to lack length is 47 mm. The weight of the watch is 31 grams. In comparison my original Omega Speedmaster Moon watch. Again 42 mm case diameter, 13 mm thickness and 47 mm lack to lack length. But the weight with 128 grams is of course much higher. Both watches next to each other. 7000 US dollars for the left one and retail price normally 260 US dollars for the uh, right one or better 1400 US dollars here on Dubizel on the second hand marketplace in Dubai. Let's throw it on the wrist for a quick wristwatch check. The strap is a bit stiff and not so comfortable. I could imagine your skin will start to sweat underneath during warm weather. I also don't like how the strap sticks out from your wrist. The movement inside the watch is a quartz movement, which looks like this. Mass production and probably used in hundreds of other quartz watches. A battery you have to change every two years, which will always create wastage and is probably not so sustainable. The back of the watch is covered with the plastic case and the battery slot features a sticker showing the planet Uranus. The water resistance is 30 meters, so basically no water resistance at all. On the dial we have a running seconds hand at 6 o'clock, a minutes counter at 9 o'clock and the hours counter at 10 o'clock. With this watch you can stop 10 hours max. The bezel features a tachymeter scale to measure different things like production rates or average speed. The scale on the bezel feels like a sticker on the watch. Overall is the feeling of the watch very cheap and disappointing after so much hype. Considering this watch would be readily available, I guess it would be better positioned at around 120 to 140 US dollars and not the recommended 260 US dollars. But with the current second hand market prices, no one can complain of course, as you could basically sell this watch immediately for a big profit. Time for a loom shot. The dimensions are quite good, as it is a copy of the original Moon watch. The case feels cheap, has a low water resistance and a cheap crystal that came already scratched from the factory. The movement is a cheap 5 bucks shiny sports movement, the strap could be more comfortable and a lot softer to be smooth around the wrist. For the daily usage this watch will be ok, even though I guess it should be more robust and the lack of date function while having a ghost position for the crown is very annoying. For the weekend usage this watch will be a bit too cheap and after the hype died down no one will care about it anymore. Also for the sportive usage I think this watch might not be tough enough. The plastic case could be sensitive to sweat and the low water resistance won't help either. Image and history of this watch are certainly better than average. Even though it now creates a certain hate in the community, we never had a launch of a new watch for which people lined up in thousands. The brand recognition is ok and the value for money is also ok as I think this watch will always be easy to sell to get at least some of your money that you spend for it back. Even when the, when the day comes and the hype of this watch died down, I think you can still sell it easily, maybe at around 60-70% of the initial retail price. Also we should consider you pay less for the quality of the watch and more for the Omega branding this item comes with. All of that together gives the watch a total score of 39 out of 100 and by that it couldn't convince me. And with that we are at the end of the video. Let me know what you think about the watch, are you getting a moon's watch or do you rather save for the OG moon watch. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and see you in the next one. Bye bye.